Now, Miss Pennsylvania is handing in her crown. She claims the Miss USA pageant was fixed. This is video from Sunday Night Show in NBC. Sheen Monin says another contestant saw the names of the top five before the pageant started. On her Facebook page, Monin said this, I witnessed another contestant who said she saw the list of the top five before the show ever started. I will not encourage anyone to compete in a system that in my opinion and from what I witnessed is dishonest. Well, Donald Trump co-owns Miss Universe along with NBC and he told NBC's Today Show they plan to sue. It is so ridiculous. And what we've authorized today is we're going to bring a lawsuit against this girl. I saw her there. My impressions were she didn't have a chance of being in the top 15, not even close. And all this is is a girl who went there, lost, uh, wasn't in the 15, and she's angry at the pageant system. While well, joining us, syndicated radio show host Ralphie Averso, who was a judge in the Miss Pennsylvania USA pageant, where Sheena Minnan competed. Thanks so much for joining us. And in Los Angeles, Paula Shogard, the president of the Miss Universe organization. Thanks to you both for being with us. Uh, Paul, if I could start with you. Is there any truth to the claims made by this, this young woman that the Miss, Universe, uh, the, the Miss USA pageant is fixed? Absolutely not. And uh, um, that's why I'm calling in. It, it would be impossible to do that. So uh, um, I was very shocked when I saw her claims. You say absolutely not. She, she does say, though, that she spoke to a contestant who says she saw the, these names. I mean, did she give you a name? I mean, what kind of contact have you had with her to kind of figure this out, where this is all coming from? Actually, I did have the name and state of the other contestant. If she chooses to come forward, that's fine. I had a lengthy conversation with her. She also said this is ridiculous. She saw a rehearsal list backstage on the show day, which was dress rehearsal, and she said the names were not the same that were called in the telecast. She actually said, I know, uh, she even said Rhode Island wasn't anywhere to be seen on the list. So it's just, uh, it. unfortunately, uh, I think it's somebody that has, is just very upset that she she did not place at the pageant. Uh, Ravi, let me bring you in. You actually were a judge, as we say, in the Miss Pennsylvania pageant. You, you've judged this, this young woman. Uh, how surprised are you by her actions? Very surprised. Uh, I, I did not expect this whatsoever. Sheena came off to the judges as very conservative in her dress, in her speech, in her ideologies. And for her to come out, make one claim in an email, and then go on Facebook and make a completely different claim about why she's essentially quitting her crown that she earned uh, so that she could serve the state of Pennsylvania and help out with a lot of charities and non-for-profits, it's baffling. So you say you're surprised by that, but again, there are these two stories out there. She claims that she's handing back a crown because she says this thing is fixed, but coming out of the Miss Universe organization is this talk of her saying she doesn't want to be part of it because they're allowing transgender contestants to compete. Yes, that was actually the first uh, email we received. First thing uh, Monday morning, she sent uh, an email to her state director that she could not uh, be part of a system that would allow uh, transgender contestants. And, uh, and that, uh, it went against her moral, uh, fiber. And, uh, you know, I know everyone is entitled to their opinion. The, the surprise I had with that is that that was a decision that was implemented two months ago. Mm -hmm. So I, I, it called into question why didn't she step down at that point? Uh, and then a few hours later, I started receiving phone calls that she had, uh, posted, uh, these, uh, the accusations on Facebook that, uh, that the pageant was rigged. And, you know, we obviously, we have Ernst and Young, NBC standards and practices, uh, eight celebrity judges. I don't know how we would even begin to do something like this. And do you really think standards and practices and Ernst and Young would allow anything, anything that was not above board to happen? It just amazes me. So, Paul, let me ask you this. Is the organization going to go through with the, this claim out there made by Mr. Trump that they will sue Sheena Monin? Well, she certainly made some very uh, uh, strong and damaging accusations against us, and, and uh, we're exploring all of our options right now. I, I honestly, uh, we have not spoken with her and uh, don't know what her intentions are, but uh, when she attacks the integrity of, of a pageant system that's been around for uh, 61 years, uh, we, have, we can't sit idly by and, and let her make those kind of accusations that are just so ungrounded and so false. Well, Paula Sugar, we really appreciate you joining us on the line there from L.A. And Ralphie Aversa as well, joining us and giving us his perspective on all of this. Our thanks to you both. And we're going to continue to follow this story. Thank you.